Hello everyone, this is Christina from Christina's Art Corner. Today I have uh, an opportunity to review a product sent by Lightwish. And I just want to open, unbox, and swatch what they sent. So it comes in this nice box, it's Nayoni, but Lightwish is the company that sent it to me. And it is 24 chalk pastel colored pencils. And here we have two sections here. By the way, you might hear our new puppy in the background. So I apologize if you do hear that. <laughs> he's a new puppy, so he's feeling his oats right now. Uh, but anyway, it comes with all of these colors, just 24, and it's a nice wooden pencil, and you have your color dipped end, and then you have a number, and it has the name Nioni, and you get 24 colors, as I said, so I figured we'd go ahead and swatch them. I will speed it up just for the sake of time and then I'm gonna work on a few pages both dry and wet using these so let's go ahead and get started and I'm just gonna swatch them in the order that they're in here all right Okay, so here they are swatched, and on the back you have corresponding numbers with the colors. Now I didn't go ahead and write them down because I have them on the box to refer to, but you also have a QR code about the product here if you want to use that. But I figured we would go ahead and do a dry version of the pastels first. And for that, I figured we would go ahead and use the Tropagoth page from this book, Tropagoth by Carla Magana. This is one of the books that I host an Instagram tag. It has changed now that we're in 2024 to Tropagoth 2024. Last year it was Tropagoth 2023. So if you're participating in this book, please be reminded that it has changed. And any of you that have this book that want to participate, uh, every month we go ahead and I put a vote out to see what page we're gonna do next. For December and January, we kept the same page due to the holidays. So I thought I would go ahead and do a background here in the blues and purples. And for that, let's see here. Here is our blue, and here is our purple, and then this is a dark, let's see here, is it showing on here? The, the way it's pictured, it's not exactly how it's coming out on the swatch, but I believe it's like an indigo color, this one, and then the next one is black but we'll see. And I just want to sharpen this one because I have already used it in a wet process that I filmed prior to this. So let me just be back with a sharpener. Go ahead and do the purple too. Right. 
Okay, so now on the swatches, what I want to share with you is there is a white here, a cream color, and this uh, good skin tone color. So those are nice to have, and then having the black also. It really comes with a nice variety of colors. There's lots of nice browns here, and like an Indian red, a mauve color, um, these two greens here. Uh, and they go down very easily. I'll just put this to the side here. All right, let's go ahead and try it out. I'm gonna use the darker color here. And after I've gotten it down, I'm gonna use a blending stump. Now they will turn a little lighter as you uh, blend them. Just gonna get this darker color down. There we go. And then I'll bring that a little bit to the edge over here. Just a little bit. And then we'll go lighter outside of it. Okay, and then down here. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of purple. It's a beautiful purple color. You see it's so easy to lay down. Let's see, make sure I got everywhere I want to. And now I'm gonna go in with the blue. Okay, I think we have a good base here going. And now I'm gonna use one of these blending stump stumps that I get from Amazon. Let's choose this one. That's good because you've got a nice little point. All right.
Now we're going to start to see some blending of the colors. Just need to add a, well, no, that was, I decided that that was grass. Okay, I think that turned out pretty cool. The other thing that I could do is I could put down another layer and I'll just show you maybe what that does. It's on this side. And go into the blue. Okay, let's do one more round of blending. purple in here and a little more blue Now, ideally with chalk pastels, you want a paper that's going to be toothy. But I wanted to show you in an Amazon book, printed book, so that you can see that you can do it here. And you can use a fixative.
to seal it if you like. So yeah, I think that's pretty cool. That's a really nice effect. And I'll decide on the colors that I'm gonna use for the rest based on what I used there. So I wanted to show you how they work dry. And then in the next portion of my video, I'm gonna show you how I used it in another book, but a wet version. And then I do my own original artwork in a uh, watercolor sketchbook. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of the video. I accepted this offer because I had some ideas um, about doing some wet versions so that to, to show you that they can be used both wet and dry. I've, I've seen um, a few other YouTubers in the coloring uh, world on YouTube that um, use them dry only so I thought I would give you another perspective and show you how they can be used a watercolor so I'm excited about these they're easy to use uh, they are a good price I will leave all of the uh, information in the description from the company but I think this is a nice little 24 uh, color set and you get a nice variety of colors and you can use them in the foreground like I could use them in the palm tree and whatnot but since I have so much video left to show you I'm just gonna choose to do this portion of the background but you can see you can get a really pretty effect and uh, you can layer it to keep getting it darker if you like but I'm pretty happy with uh, what's happening here so I hope you enjoyed this part of the video and I hope you enjoy the rest and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.